No, I was actually out for dinner, so um, I saw the obviously you saw the result, but um, yeah, I didn't really watch any of the game, so yeah. Was that a concerted just kind of tune out to see what happens? Um, I was, a mate was down from Brizzy. They um, they played in the VFL and lost yesterday, so um, we ended up all going out for dinner. Um, yeah, so I just I had other plans. I suppose it's just good to have the game locked in now. You won't play the Giants. You know, yeah. Date, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think that's been probably just the. Um, the uneasiness of it all, just you know, unsure where who you're going to play, which way it's going to fall, and um, yeah, now that it's all locked in, I think we're all just really looking forward to Friday night. Yeah, I imagine when you made the move, this was sort of the dream. The fact that it's happened and it's straight away, I mean, what's that feeling like? Yeah, it's um, yeah, incredible. Uh, I kind of when it, when I was making that decision, I. I I didn't know how good Collingwood were going to be because it was very early on when I kind of was making that decision, and um, it was nearly before they went on that 11-game win streak. So um, yeah, it's just incredible to see how much the group's grown from from then to now. Um, I feel like they've they've got so much um, belief, and we've just um, really looking forward to the opportunity to play in front of big crowds. Um, and yeah, hopefully. What about the size of the club? Exceeded your expectations, but particularly given the numbers that have turned up. Like. Yeah, it's in, incredible. Um, you know, every every training session, there's thousands of people out there. Um, it's yeah, it's something that I'm probably not used to coming from a small market like Brisbane, but uh, it's 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 so good. Yeah, we, we just we're so lucky. How do you deal with that personally? You come from that? Yeah, I, I feel like I'm, I'm a mature, you know, guy now that um, I'm able to handle the the scrutiny and the pressure and the um, the largeness of the club, um, yeah, it's just uh, one of those things. It, it comes with, um, yeah, moving to Melbourne. Um, you got to deal with with those things. You know, the fishbowl of, of Melbourne. So, yeah, it's been good. How have you seen your your season yeah, development? Yeah, so I probably felt like I didn't start the season the way I wanted to. It's always difficult when you're trying to learn a new system. They play a fair bit to, to the old club, so um, yeah, probably didn't start the season the way I wanted to, and then I got injured. But that actually gave me a really um, like good time to to really hone in on the on the way the club wants me to play and um, the way way our forwards want to work together with our mids. And um, so when I felt like I came back, I was able to just click and um, yeah, get straight into um, playing the footy that I wanted to play and, and have an impact and um, yeah, being involved. So. GWS backline. How do you see them, and is there a weakness that you can spot? Well, I don't know if they've got a weakness there. Um, their, their tools are going incredibly well. Obviously, um, Sam Taylor's a, a great player, and um, Buckley's done amazing as well. So um, that's going to be a great matchup for, for Checkers and I. We're, we're looking forward to that, and um, you know, I think they've, they've just hit form right at the right time. And um, yeah, it's going to be a great challenge Friday night. But um, you know, they've got to get through us, so we're looking forward to it. What about their ball movement? Do you see similarities? Yeah, probably. I mean, Kings has come from Richmond. Uh, Flyers come from Richmond, so there's probably a fair, fair bit of similarities and, um, and yeah, fair tactics. But um, you know, we, we'll just back ourselves. That we'll, our system will be able to beat theirs. So that's what we. You had a bit of a slow start to the final the other week. You were then off with concussion. What changed for you to be able to mid-game, I suppose, to make the influence that you did in the end? Yeah. I'll, well, I wasn't off with the concussion. I had to do the so concussion test. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so I think that whole thing was just a bit of a, um, you know, obviously a, a bit of a uh, something I had to work through. Um, you know, being off for 15 minutes and then having to work back into the game. And then once I got to half time, I was able to reset. Um, spoke with the, the club psych, and um, she's always around, which is which is awesome. So you just able to reset with her, just a couple of triggers, and then um, yeah, it felt like in the second half I was able to be influential and have have an impact on the game. So. Um, yeah, we're really lucky to have those sort of resources at the club, and um, yeah, we was able to reset and well, go. Identified it as maybe a point of growth for you. So, what did you take from it? Being able to turn yeah, it's, it's something I've, I've always got to work on. Um, you know, not getting too down on myself, and um, being able to um, still fi find ways I can impact games, uh, even when I'm not hitting the scoreboard or um, taking marks. So, um, it's definitely something that we've spoken about a lot, and um, he's been so good for me in that aspect. And um, just continues to believe in me and, uh, and my ability and um, probably more than I do at times. So it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's really good to have him around and um, yeah, to have him as my, like, as my coach to, to lead me.
What does he say to you about his team? Or, or sort of well, I, I didn't directly speak to him like during the game, but um, you know, even after the game, he was just said like he was so proud of the way I was able to get, come back into the game post um, probably not starting the way I wanted to, and um, you know, just those sort of moments and um, and messaging you get is pretty cool from from such a senior leader and. Um, just makes you want to play for him even more. And without getting too carried away, the concept of playing Brisbane in the grand final, how's that feel? Yeah, it's obviously a, a fair way to go, but if that is the way it falls, um, great opportunity. Um, I couldn't have written it any better, to be honest. So let's just hope that if it does fall that way, that um, you know, we're on the winning end. <laughs>